church council. in the barrel room is all controlled by the ventilation system. I have always considered the Heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system, effectively and reliably transmitting the decrees of the brain to the body and limbs of our great organization. And I am delighted that so many of you were able to join me today, despite your busy schedules, and celebrate my retirement from the world of law and imminent instatement as the third constant of Providence. Make no mistake. I have two formidable sets of shoes to fill, but I am a thirst to pick up the mantle. This wine was gifted to me by the Ark Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. 
We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable. Because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? He's not absolutely right. Yeah. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. And following this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Listen to yourselves. Don Yate is not even appointed constant yet. And already he conspires to betray his master. I don't pretend to understand Edward's every move. But I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. Stand down now or share her fate. Edward's. Will he hear about this? I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. Mr. Cortazar? Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. 
Yeet will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping a crime scene. Like we discussed, remote, staged accident. Oh, and Corvo. Make it for two. Improvise. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don't. You shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale and are forcing him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruit is a feather in his cap. By the way, you write about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Oh. <sighs> Turns out this woman will. You if it's any consolation, Dom, your instincts were dead on. I will be constant now. And I will make it my mission to tear down problems brick by brick. Finish it. Don't let my wife find me. Like this. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever. I don't know. Probably keep something weird. Weird? Like how? All my clients have kept something weird to say, especially when it's a basement thing. Basement thing. Come on. 